we're going to find the rank of this 4x4 matrix A. And this is going to require us to change this matrix into echelon form using elementary row operations. Recall that the rank of a matrix is the dimension of its row space or column space. They are the same as far as their dimension goes. And to find that, once we put the matrix in echelon form, the rank is simply the number of non-zero rows the row echelon echelon form has. When we put this matrix A in echelon form, it's going to look like this. And this has three non-zero rows, thus the rank of A is three. Row echelon form, of course, means that all zero rows are moved to the bottom of the matrix. All non-zero rows have leading entries of one and are assembled in this sort of staircase pattern. So this might be enough for you. How do you find the rank of a 4x4 matrix? Well, perform elementary row operations to get it in row echelon form, and the number of non-zero rows is the rank of the matrix. If you want a little more detail, let's spend a couple minutes going through those row operations that get us from here to here. And here the whole process is. You can pause and look at these yourself. I'm going to zoom in and explain each one. First, we subtract two copies of row one from row two, which will get rid of this leading two. It'll turn that into a zero. Similarly, we take three copies of row one away from row three, which gets rid of this leading three. And that gets us here. Then, to change the leading entry of row two, to positive one, we multiply row two by negative one fourth. And to get rid of the leading four in row four, we subtract four copies of row one from row four, which gets us to this matrix here. Then to get rid of this leading entry of negative six in row three, we add six copies of row two. And to get rid of this leading entry of negative eight, we add eight copies of row two to row four, and that gets us to this matrix here. One more step. We have a zero row in the bottom of the matrix, that's fine. Then we just need to change this leading entry of negative three in row three to positive one. So to do that, we multiply row three by negative third, and then we get here. Finally, the matrix is in row echelon form, and we see there are three non-zero rows, and thus the rank of the matrix is three. Let me emphasize that this is row echelon form. It's not reduced row echelon form. Reduced row echelon form is unnecessary to establish the rank of a matrix. In reduced row echelon form, each leading one has zeros above and below it, which we see we don't have here, but that's not a problem. So that's an example of finding the rank of a 4x4 matrix. Hope it was helpful. I'll have some relevant links in the description to similar lessons I've done. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions.